Hi there, it's Elise Kopp, your 55 plus realtor here in the greater Las Vegas area. Welcome to my channel if you're new, welcome back if you've been here before. As you can probably tell, we're back in my car today and we are actually at a gem of a 55 plus community in Henderson, Heritage at Cadence. I figured this would be a good opportunity to share a little bit with you about Heritage at Cadence. What are the pros, what are the cons to living in this community? Without any further ado, we'll move right along into the pros and cons to living in Heritage at Cadence. This is a newer construction community built between 2015 to 2023, built by Lennar Homes. They have one clubhouse, which is absolutely spectacular. Indoor outdoor pool, arts and craft studios, billiards, game room, you name it. Lots of amenities right at your fingertips. I will include my video down in the description box below, sharing more information on everything you need to know about this community. But for the sake of today's video, we'll just talk a little bit about the pros and cons to living in Heritage at Cadence. Now, starting with the first pro, I feel this is the most important pro to keep in mind when thinking of this community, and that is the tremendous value you're gonna find in Heritage at Cadence. Single family detached homes start in the low to mid 400 range. So if you're looking to keep your budget in the low to mid fours, or if you wanna get a little bit more bang for your buck when we're talking newer construction, this is a great community to do so. The second pro to living in Heritage at Cadence is going to be the fact that this is a guard gated community. There's a guard at the gate 24 seven and security is taken very seriously. If security and safety is important to you, that is definitely something to keep in mind. The third pro to living in Heritage at Cadence is going to be the fact that this is a newer construction community. Because the home started development back in 2015, None of the homes are more than 10 years old, so you're going to get newer mechanicals, newer cosmetics, and that's definitely something to consider if you are leaning towards having a newer home. The fourth pro to living in Heritage at Cadence is going to be the resort-like lifestyle and amenities. As I mentioned, you have an incredible clubhouse, an indoor and outdoor pool. You also have billiards. You have an incredible fitness center, pickleball courts. So if you're active and you want to be involved in your community, this is a great place to meet people and connect and you you are going to be around people who live similarly to you because it's 55 plus living. The fifth pro I'm going to share with you today is going to be the fact that Heritage at Cadence is located in the master planned community of Cadence. Now your HOA dues in this community are a total of 212 a month and that covers access to the sub HOA facilities, the Heritage Clubhouse, but that also gets you access to the Cadence master plan facilities. There are parks and walking trails within the community. There's also a a family pool so if you do have grandkids or younger relatives visiting you you can also access all those amenities as well if living in a master plan community is important to you this is definitely a great spot to explore the sixth pro I'm gonna share with you today is the fact that in Heritage at Cadence you're really close to convenience facilities not only are shops including Smith's Marketplace Target Costco Trader Joe's not only are they minutes away from you but you are also minutes away about 10 to 15 minutes from Lake Las Vegas. It is the most resort retreat like area in my opinion in all of the greater Las Vegas area. There's a 320 acre man-made lake. So if being close to those facilities and potentially water activities is important to you, that's definitely something to consider. Very easy to get around in this area. Now we'll move right along into some of the cons to living in Heritage at Cadence. The first con I'm going to share with you is the fact that because this is a newer area, there is still plenty of construction and development going on around you. So if you're wanting to live in an already established community that you know has been built out for 10, 15, 20 years, this is not necessarily the area to do so. While there has been a lot of development over the past couple decades in this area, there is still more development to come and we've seen this area blossom so much over the past few years and I could only imagine what's to come. But that's definitely something to keep in mind if you are going to mind dirt or dust being built around you. The second con is is going to be the fact that you're a little bit further out from the strip and from the airport. If being close to the city is important to you, you are going to have to drive maybe 20 to 25 minutes to get to the airport or the strip, depending on where on the strip you're actually going to. Now, living in Las Vegas, you're not going to have to worry about driving one, two, three hours to the airport or to any of your major facilities. If being near the strip is a priority to you, that's definitely something you'll want to keep in mind if you're considering this community. The third con I'm going to 
share with you is the fact that Heritage at Cadence is situated on flat land. So if views are important to you, whether it's mountains or city or golf courses or whatever it may be, this is not necessarily the community that you are going to find a variety. When it comes to views, most of the homes are situated on very flat land and have tall privacy walls. If you're looking for a view, that is definitely something you're going to want to consider in this community. And the fourth con I'm going to share with you today is the fact that because of where Heritage at Cadence is situated, you're located in the heart of Cadence, just like I shared with you, but you're going to have a mix of older Henderson and newer construction in the Cadence area. So you're going to find a mix of older developments, newer developments. If that's something that may be important to you, it's definitely something to consider or at least to drive around in person to see if it's something that may bother you or not. Now, these are just a few pros and cons that I wanted to share with you today. Obviously, this is just scratching the surface on this community. If you are interested or feel it may be a good fit for you or if any of our other 55 plus communities may be a potential fit, I'd love to connect with you. I will leave my phone number down in the description box below and here on the screen. And if you have any questions or are planning a visit to the Greater Las Vegas area, I would love to be your one-stop shop and show you all of our communities in person. If you found today's video helpful, I would so appreciate it if you could take this time to like and to subscribe to my channel. It helps me in creating these videos for you and I so appreciate your support. Hope you have a wonderful day and thank you for watching.